boss rap. I got four cars and they all black. Got four bras and they all that. We call that ballin'. Doing this is my calling. Flow is so appalling. My phone off and she calling. I'm like, yeah, what it do? Penthouse, man, what it do? What is going on, everybody? Sport Slab Train. Welcome back today, guys. Top 10 Drifts of the Week is back on this Friday, man. John Ross and Zach. Getting us started here for our honorable mentions. And these guys are actually fans of the channel. So a huge thank you for coming up with this clip. They actually said that their boss gave them permission to be sliding at the industrial plant that they work at. So just a huge shout out to their boss for making this video possible. You guys can follow them, Grassroots Digital, on Facebook and YouTube. Links are in the description box down below. But today though, we have quite a top 10 and this actually turned out to be a very hard top 10 to judge. So hard in fact, I said, you know what? We're gonna do another vote for number one and this is gonna be another IRL clip versus in game. So this should be pretty interesting. Huge shout out to JP for the throwback slides here on Gran Turismo. You don't see it very often, man, but it's just crazy to go back to the roots of where our passion started for gaming and you know racing in general on that genre and you know it's just been so long man you know i still remember those days booting up gran turismo it's a throwback man start us off though number 10 this week we have claws dropping in with a huge jump drift on sakaya hill he's gonna hold that 2j drop the hammer and just hold out that slide nothing too crazy but yet it's only number 10 and we got a long ways to go Number nine, we have Diesel King. Now this man threw me off when I seen this clip. Now this is actually Farming Simulator 2015 with a reverse entry 360. Just right, corn tops. Like what the? Oh my God! I couldn't believe it, man. Number eight, Hoonigan with some crazy tandem runs here on Dirt Three. Now this is something that I really would love to get into, and I don't know if this is possible on the 360 or not, but I will be figuring it out. I'm pretty sure it's only Steam. You guys can see a Steam Gamer Tag on the top. I just said Steam Gamer Tag, man. Whatever, it's been a long day. This man goes for a jump over top. He goes underneath of him to finish off that run. Very nice. Even a little 360 at the end, too, man. man okay, they timed that shit nice. Number seven, we're going back to two wheels, man. Ride to Grunger Gaming. And I like this clip, obviously, because of the fact that it is different, right? I mean, we're back on two wheels rather than four. The man gets it a little bit sideways, not enough to throw it and lose it, but just a smooth run past those corners. Number six, we are going back to high octane drift. As you guys remember, I played this on the channel, but I wasn't as good as this man throwing in a jump drift entry, but he's going to continue this going. It says fabulous drift. He's like, no, no, we going for the ultimate drift. And he's going to slide into the pits, tap the wall, and not lose his score. He's going to go for a near miss pass on RX-7, hold it out, bank his points, and that's about it here on High Octane Drift. I definitely need to get back into that game, though, man. I feel like I haven't played it in a very long time. Ben A with some live for speed. Now, this is going to be a very aggressive first entry with his BMW E28 M5. He's on Backwood GP. And just have a look on how much angle this man gets. The toe on this is absolutely ridiculous. He's running some wise fab kits, man. Guaranteed, you can see it on the lock right here. Look at the, oh my god, man. How come we can't have this on any other games? Please, these console games need to step up their lock to lock. Number four, we're going back to GTA 5. Reborn with some crazy tandem. Windy sucks on the damn chase. We have AV Carlos on the lead. We have a GT86 and Chaser throwing down doors here on Sakaya Hill. And I gotta say, uh, I will be back on Reborn very soon. Run itself will just help me out with a bunch of mods and installing the five Reborn maps again. But these guys are killing a nasty freestyle and they're gonna pull off the same jump drift as we've seen in number 10 today. So I thought that was really cool seeing the Assetta Corsa version and then bringing it over to the Grand Theft Auto 5 version. Either way, they threw down one hell of a run on Reborn. Number three this week, Tendo. And if I'm not mistaken, that is DYJ Media in that lead BMW. And these guys are throwing down a huge jump drift section here on Miname, but I just love the aggressive style of this. We have seen this clip done many times on this same track. However, like I said, it was the style of the clip. You can really tell these guys were going in. They left everything 
everything out on this run and they even threw in a very nice third person cinematic run with their third person action as well too just overall really really enjoyed this clip for the aggressiveness and even the little free cam action going down you need a little gimbal support though my dude it's a little shaky now this next clip here on Forza Horizon 3 definitely could have been number one. Like I said, it's so tough to judge, you know, first to third, usually every single week that I do these. However, though, I hope I got this order proper for you guys and let me know down below. There's a long list of names. I'm going to leave the names up for you guys just to have a look at. But these guys are throwing down one crazy run down this. So let's count them out, man. We got two, four, six. We have eight cars going down Blizzard Mountain. And if it can't get any better, they're going to transition on a patch of ice right here. And you can see this back viper hit it just a little bit. He saves it, though, brings it out, and they're going to run this whole run down the mountain. Now, this is not the easy thing to do. I mean, try to replicate this yourself with a group of eight guys, and it's almost impossible with everybody going all over the place. I love the way that they finished it. It just came to a crashing halt, but... That was a pretty damn crazy run on Forza Horizon 3. Big thing for sending that in. Number one, Blue Linux and U.S. Burden M.O. Now, this is going to be a vote for number one IRL clip versus in-game clip. And we're starting this off here with a crazy downhill run here on a set of Corsa. Now, what I really enjoyed about this clip was the camera work. You can see that lead car just ripping it down there. Almost 90 on the transition. We got a camera right at the hairpin on that downhill section and just an overwhelming display of skill by both drivers. I mean, to lead is one thing, but to follow on a section this tight, you know, there's so much things at play right now. You know, your clutch, you got your handbrake, you don't want to oversteer too much, you don't want to dive bomb this door. You know, so many things going through your mind, but at the end of the day though, on a run like this, you really just need to clear your head and just throw down a run. And they did exactly that on this track here. And I mean, it doesn't get any better than a downhill toge run here on Assetto. And I mean, this is something that all console drivers are envious of right now. Obviously, we haven't had Fujimi Kaido come back in since Forza 4. And us Forza Motorsport players, um, you know, it's definitely disappointing. And, it, you know, it sucks to watch a run like this because we had tracks like this and now they're only on the PC. So I'm praying Forza 7 will be the day. However, I know what you're saying right now. Slap, this is PC. Shut your ass up and show us the second clip. Number one, this man is going against KCAM224. For the first time, we have a Pro-Am run. Top 16. Now, if you guys have not noticed already, they're at the Horse Thief Mile, man. This is definitely a bucket list track for myself. We have an unbelievable follow run here in this S14. I didn't get very much information on this other than it's an LS3 525 crate motor. There's an unbelievable run here, and I love watching competition runs. There's nothing else like it out there. Ladies and gentlemen, you guys can vote for your winner right now in the description box. There will be a straw poll link for you guys. Mr. Stigglypuffs with a huge edit here on Forza Motorsport 6. This man has been up in his level of editing one video after another. I will leave his full link down below for you guys to check out in its entirety without me talking over the damn thing. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so much for watching once again. Don't forget to slap that like button. It's your slap trade. Top 10 drifts of the week. I'm out. Peace. Four cars and they all black, got four bras and they all that we call that Ballin', doing this is my calling, flow is so appalling My phone off and she calling, I'm like yeah, what it do, penthouse